Hello everybody, welcome to A-Level Project Design and what I'm going to do is go through the two year course with you. So over the two years you will be set, having two exams at the end of year 13 and you will also be doing a major practical piece of coursework which includes 40 A3 pages of coursework and a practical piece. Over the year you'll be learning about theory for various materials, processes and techniques alongside the design process and learning about designers too. Coursework information, you will need to come up with your own design, an idea about a project. This has to be more complex than a GCSE. It's 50% waiting on the course, like I've just mentioned. Uh, you are expected to show the iterative design process and that means going backwards and forwards uh, with your design ideas and development and recording your information along the way. You will also need a real client with a real problem as you will need to be able to speak to them throughout the coursework. In the coursework folder, it, has to, it will show a varying range of skills including designing, creativity, imagination, um, prototyping, practical skills, and evaluation. Here are some examples of previous coursework and layout. With the information at exams, you will have two papers, and this will be set at the end of year 13. Uh, each element will incorporate maths. The maths level will be up to a level five or a grade C in both exams. The first one will be based on materials and processes. It is a two and a half hour paper. It is worth 30% of the exam part of the course. And the second paper is an hour and a half it is worth 20% of the core of the exam element and it will be based on designing and designers and their practice and their products as well. Course trips are subject to the amount of people running uh, offering Sorry, course trips are subject to how many people are willing to go on the, the trips. Um, there are two in London. There are the design talks in November where you go to university and you will see current designers uh, talking about their projects and talking about how they got into design. So in the past, we've had um, the fashion designer, Paul Smith, Wayne Hemingway, um, Jaguar, the head of Jaguar has talked about their designs. And in July, we have new designers, and this is where you will see university students, even the first year or the third year, showing and highlighting their work that they have produced. Areas for designing range from architecture, set design, model making, um, to furniture design, a lot more. If you happen to be in London over the summer, these are some places to go and see. Uh, the latest products and designs out there, current trends. So you've got Heels, which is one of the oldest establishments in London. It showcases some of the best designer products that ha have been produced. It will cater for the top ends and it, will, and it will not be surprising to see products that are in four figures being sold there. Uh, opposite Heels, you've got Habitat. This is um, in Tottenham Court Road. You've got the Conran Shop. Again, very uh, designer-led products sold in that shop. You've got two places, Fulham Road and Marlborough High Street. The Jeffrey Museum shows the designs and trends of uh, different eras. So you can see how it has been established from uh, very arts and crafts design work up to uh, modern day designs. Again, v &A Museum will have some different products as well as a design museum. If you're going to study this project, this subject after A-level, you could go into the design field, which is very wide. So it will lead to architecture, um, model maker, furniture maker, teacher, carpenter, set designer. So there's a wide range of courses you can undertake after doing this course. Expectations of the course, you have to have an interest in this subject. You have to um, be creative and imaginative, like designing, um, be able to work independently, take uh, responsibility for your actions and kind of push your coursework forward in how you want it to develop. 
again, um, working on feedback and kind of making sure getting all the coursework and the theory work done on time. This will um, lead to unnecessary stress in getting the work done, as well as developing your practical skills. So you have to have some um, good practical skills and adhere to health and safety practices in the workshop. In year 12, we will do a couple of focused practical tasks to get you up to speed with your skills in the workshop. So we're going to do a key box and a jewellery project. Um, dependent on time, we may start a seating one as well. We are going to start the major coursework in year 12. Um, so that will start in year 12 by November time or we'll finish in year 13 by November time. The book for this course are shown here. So the one on the left is a theory booklet that schools will use or you can get a student version which is the one on the right there is an option for um, an online theory book and that may only last two years please have a look at uh, the prices of them they may vary from when I did this PowerPoint um, also um, these are the, it is by AQA which is our example that we will be doing Right, over the summer holidays, this is what everyone must do. You need to think about three different ideas that you could take as your major project. Um, anything that you research, keep a record of it because you're going to use that in your coursework. It has to be a real client with a real problem. And it has to be a client who lives locally. You cannot see have a client who lives miles away because you will need to get regular feedback from them to implement them in your coursework. And you will need to show the iterative design process which um, kind of goes backwards and forwards. It's no longer the linear process. The coursework idea needs to be approved by me so I can check that it matches the exam board criteria. And it has to keep you interested for a year. You will be spending a year on this work. If you are not interested in the project you have chosen, you're likely to be motivated to do any work on it. Right, here are some examples from the exam board. OK, so that's to give you an idea of the kind of things you could look at or do. Obviously, speak to people, keep a record, because they example, you want to see at least three different ideas which you start to develop into one. And they do not need to be from the same theme. They can be three completely different themes, which would probably be better. Right, if you are... If you haven't taken design technology at GCSE level, you will need to read up on the theory processes and the design process. Good websites to use are www.technologiesnew.com or GCSE Bite Size. Uh, you'll need to be able to sketch and draw as well. Okay, so get used to uh, practicing doodling just to be able to show your ideas in 3D. If you have done a GCSE design technology subject, you may need to read up on the other materials that you didn't study. Again, same website supply. And if you have done GCSE Design Technology, you can look into a iconic designer and find out about their products. There is a list of certain designers on the board at the moment. Uh, Seymour Powell is a design, con very design consultancy who have been very successful over the years working with big brand companies to produce very iconic products. If you have any questions, please contact me on the following address by the end of term. Otherwise, I will see you in September. Bye.